Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. We've got Solomon here, going to show us the Infernoble deck for the next format. New format ready. Uh, by the time this comes out though, of course, we'll be into the new format. Apologies about the noise in the background. We are at our locals. I will be moving the camera closer when we go through the profile. So hopefully you can hear about all of his choices. So anything you want to say before we get stuck in? Um, I think it was dumb that Konami didn't hit this deck in any way, really. <laughs> yeah? You don't think the Tuners was a good hit? Or? Um, yes, but no. It's, we now play left brick, weirdly enough. Okay, all right. I'll, um, I'll take your word on that. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, cool. Uh, right, we'll get stuck into the profile then. Okay then. Uh, let's start off with the monsters. I played two Inspo Noble over here. He's Foolish Burial for Fire Warriors and Equip Spells. And he can equip himself from Grave and make them so it can't be uh, destroyed by card, targeted by card effects, sorry. Um, he's good, but you don't want to max out on him because he requires other cards to help. But it's really good for setting up like um, the Immortal Phoenix and just sometimes getting the equip spell for the uh, Roland. Yep. Uh, next up, I play free Infernoble Knight Oliver. He's your best um, Infernoble extender. So he discards a Fire Warrior equip spell, summons himself from hand as a level one. He's a tuner, so he can go into Hauk or, or into the Synchros. Uh, and then he equips himself from Grave to make something so it can't be destroyed by card effects. Yep. Or type right. Then we play free and Noble Knight uh, Reynolds. Reynolds yeah. summons himself from hand if you control Fire Warrior, adds Fire Warrior, or equips Fire from Grave to hand. Um, it's just insane. He's why he's like money. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember yeah. how much he's actually right now. I think they're like 30s, right? Something like that. Like 17. Oh, okay. 17. Oh, so come gone, back down. They've gone down. Oh, you're right, yeah. And then I play one in for Noble Knight uh, Roland. Um, I'm playing this now because some of the combos that you do, you won't have the uh, level 5 Synchro Engrave. Yeah. So you search this during the end phase so you can still have the Quick Play pop. Yeah. Uh, he just Quick Play equips himself from hand, gives it 500, and if he's sent to Grave, you add a Fire Warrior or Quick Spell during the end phase. Okay. So it's just additional search power as well. And for when I uh, stop though. Okay, uh, this is one this. I don't see come up much. Um, it, it comes up if your board gets wiped because he's this is like one of the only extenders that doesn't require you to have anything. He just it just banishes a fire warrior from grave yeah and then summons itself and gets that level right and then you can banish it from grave and two standby phases two of your standby phases later each specials a fire warrior yeah um from grave or banish non target team okay um so it can also just be a recovery in a slower grind yeah uh then three of the honorary and for noble knight um immortal phoenix gear freed um this card just helps play around this card just helps you play around this card helps you play around hand traps and also uh it's just an, a solid negate on his own yeah. he's also out for like dragoon or anything that just can't be targeted because during the battle he just takes it he, it's just insane do you think the three um, is necessary because i know people were playing less of it before uh i prefer to play three because um, you don't really get to search it, and if you just have this card in your open hand, it's just an addition on the gate. Sure. Um, it's just really powerful for that. Yeah. Um, you can play two, but I prefer three. Sure. Uh, then on to warrior cards. Uh, free Neo Space Connector and an Aqua Dolphin. Yep. It's the best warrior normal summon. Yep. And you get hand knowledge. It's dumb. Uh, free Fire Flint Lady yep. as a warrior extender. If you control the warrior, summon itself. And then it can tribute itself to summon a warrior of hand. So it can help with some in some weirder situations. Yep. Uh, free Super Quantum Red Layer because it's just a free special summon warrior. Uh, so, uh, and one of the combos you can search this to um, use later. Yeah, um, I mean it's Cyber Dragon, but Warriors. Yeah. Like, what's not <laughs> it's also searchable off the Durandor for Crypt Spell, so you can get it and be over like Herald and stuff as well. Yep. Um, one Spell Striker. Uh, yes. So this is new from what um, new from what I'm playing. So it's it's a warrior that summons itself by banishing a spell from grave. Yeah. Um, but I'm playing it because it's a level three, and for the new combo, you search a level. You need to search a level three, so you can either play like a second Aqua Dolphin or this. Yeah. And I trying this because it just can summon itself as an extender as well. Yeah. So it's not dead in hand or anything. Like yeah. That. Uh, then I'm playing one by one sphere. Yeah. Um, you summon it up how and then get additional searches with the um, 
Darren Dowell yeah, pops smoke grenade yeah. multiple times. Yeah. Um, yeah when, when stuff comes I don't really like this, but I know I've got to play it now because yeah. some of the combos just require it. Yeah. Uh, TG Striker. Um, this is just the Warrior Tuner I summon off of Azold. Yeah. I know some people play Gemba. I prefer this because this has a, an effect because it just is Cyber Dragon. Yeah. Um, so that comes up more than Gemba ever will. Um, more play spread on me. This is what I'm playing now instead of O-Lion and Jet. Yeah. Um, so with a new combo, you you summon it off how and then you still are able to get to the same end board of Charles Savage with the hand knowledge from Smoke Grenade. It's just not as free as the other ones. Yeah. Um, it does a job. But it's still really good. <laughs> um, then just finish off monsters and playing free gamma and a driver just because you need something to deal with it. Yep. I might be changing this stuff for um, dark rulers and yep. then just break balls going second instead of having hand trap. Yep. Uh, on spells, uh, free heritage because it's rotor. Yep. Uh, rotor because it's rotor. <laughs> Um, free info, noble arms, Darandel, because it just it's another rotor essentially, searching more fire warriors. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's dumb that this deck can play like six, uh, seven rotors. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, one info, noble arm, so Joyce. Uh, so this adds a fire warrior from Great Hands, hand, so it so helps that combo later game. Um, but it can also get like you can dump gear freedom and get it back to hand or certain other things. Yeah. This is sort of the flex spot of equip spell. It could be any, many things, but I just chose this. Yep. Uh, the one smoke grenade, because it's the thing that makes this deck really good. You know they're definitely going to reprint this card, right? Like, oh, yeah. It's that, that's be, why it's not got banned. It's going to be in like, the gold set or whatever. Uh, then one Phoenix Blade, because it's like the second best equip spell in the deck. Yeah. Uh, and then one Living Fossil, because it's just really good. Yeah. Just Monster Reborn. Mm -hmm. um, then the rest of the spells I play, uh, free triple tactic talents, just because if you get hand trapped, you can rip another card. Yeah. Or, like, if they gamma you, you can take their gamma and then go into Hauk, and it's dumb. It's got going second place as well, like, as a worst case scenario. Yeah. Well. It's like, if, if they, you don't draw anything, but if they go for Dragoon, you can just take this with Dragoon and pop the field and kill them. Yeah. Um, then, uh, last card, one for one, just extend the card, and e tally extend it to summon gamma from deck. Sure. Um, now on to the extra deck. I play one of Infernoble Emperor Charles. Yep. Um, so, if something. Main thing you really want to end on, because he uh, equips cards from Graven Deck, pops cards. Uh, and it's, just it's normally insane. like being in the smoke grenade thing, right? Yeah, you equip smoke grenade and then he pops the smoke grenade to get the hand knowledge. Yep. Um, but then getting a pop on your opponent's turn and more advantage in the end phases is just good. Yep. Uh, Infernoble, uh, Infernoble Captain Roland, he, um, you essentially just summon him, activate his effect, and then synchro him away immediately. Yep. Um, but he sends an equip spell, adds warrior, and then can quick play, equip himself in grave. So yep. He, works with the Emperor to give pops, but also sets up Smoke Grenade in place for next turn. Yep. Because, unlike the other ones, he searches any warrior, so you can just, like, add Connector for next turn. Yeah. Uh, then I'm playing one Ignoble Knight Highland uh, Seer. I don't see this come off a lot, so how do you feel about this one? Um, it's in certain combos, if you open, like, Ogier and Roland, and Renard, sorry, you can send the Gear Freed, add back Gear Freed, make this... Equip, uh, equip, uh, equip something, and equip something, and then summon gear freed on your fourth summon to play yes, around with, like Nib. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, on summon he equips any Infernoble Arm from deck, so you can equip the Darren Delta Search. Right. Um, and then if he destroys something by battle, he adds a Warrior or a, Info or a Noble Arm. So he just has additional search power. Yeah. Uh, to his old, because it's a Warrior deck, um, and his old is just dumb. Um, you play two just in case like the first one gets hand trapped. And you... Which it always does. Yeah. Or in... Um, Turn two onwards, having a second one just to be able to go into and um, push the damage or kill yep. them. Then one Marshall Metal Marcher, you still play it as part of the combo. Yeah. One Tatsunoko, you still play it as part of the combo, but you don't go for Savage first with this. Uh, one Herald of the Arc Light. Yeah. Um, you don't make it as commonly as you did before, but it's still just good to have because switches are... off hand traps and everything. It's yeah. Really strong. It's just some hands you. Just you can't go for like Savage plus um, Charles, so you have to go for Arclight plus Charles. Yeah. Um, which is still good. <laughs> uh, Coral Dragon, for the new combo, you go through Coral Dragon. Yeah. Uh, to draw an extra card. But it also, it being a pop, uh, going second is strong. Yep. Uh, Barrel Savage, just because you end on it and it's 
a really, really good synchro monster. Yeah. Link Cross, because Hulk combos. Two Hulk. Because Hulk combos. Because Hulk combos, but doing it twice. Yeah. Uh, Roradon for the uh, combo. You yeah. don't you uh, you won't be able to, you can't like summon um, O-line anymore so you actually keep it on field. So there's plays you can do where you can uh, equip smoke grenade, pop it once and then pop it again from the end phase to rip two cards. Yeah. Um, which is dumb. <laughs> and an active code talker because killing your opponent is important. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for this. I'm very surprised that Konami didn't hit this or Dragon. Um, yeah, that's it for the deck. I'm just very surprised that Konami didn't hit this or Dragon Link because they're now just the best decks. Yeah. Um, and it's not really much else that's going to compete with them being the best decks currently. Yeah, still insane combos. Yeah, insane combos, hand ripping, just dumb shit. So, so what's your opinion on this versus Dragon Link? Which is the better of the two? Uh, I believe Dragon Link is the better deck, but. Dragon Link's harder to pilot. Okay. Um, but Dra Dragon Link can do what this does better. But I just I'm not big. Brain I mean, I think hand it. knowledge is pretty good, though, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it's definitely it, like it, an advantage. In Dragon Link, you can also get the hand knowledge with Smoke Grenade. You okay. Violon Q get Smoke Grenade and then just pop it with Tracer, which is. I actually haven't seen that, so that's pretty interesting yeah. to hear. Uh, okay, cool. So, but you still think it's one of the better combo decks for sure? Oh yeah, like the top two decks is this and Dragon Link. Um, so. I just keep playing what I enjoy. <laughs> okay, awesome, cool. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to do the video. Any shout-outs before we go? Uh, I guess I should shout out Jam Jam cards, because they um, and I'm sure a few of these cards, at least a few of these cards in the deck. At least Jam a Jam. few? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't remember which ones. <laughs> um, yeah. That's about it, really. Wow. Um, doesn't shout me out, doesn't shout the locals shout up, out, doesn't shout any of the boys that give him lifts. Oh my god, he's oh, falling to bits there, here. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right, I'm just sticking out on you. Thank you very much for coming along. Uh, if you haven't, guys, you should definitely hit subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.